what you got here is your Papa Arena and you can have it in different ways mine's con carne it's like a uh, it's kind of like a Cornish pasty Colombian style but it's good it's hearty it's hot it's filling and it's Colombian so it was not a lot to like not a lot I'm off to the Amazon did I mention that yeah only about a hundred times anyway Paparina, nice crusty coating mashed potato filled uh, mince meat egg rice yeah, like a boiled egg I found in the middle of it it was pretty fantastic anyway on to the next phase the pasteles the pastries here are incredible that's a quid I'm in an airport one pound we are not getting any slimmer unfortunately but yeah phase two off to Leticia go to the Amazon actually thought I'd better let you know that's what I'm up to and what a pastry it is too light fluffy delicioso phase two Bogota to Leticia I've got the window seat again not looking good on the leg room for phase two Bienvenidos a la selva part of the world we've just got here and uh, the heat slaps you in the face on to my second Aguila light just getting into the swing of things here in Leticia it's very hot sunglasses are on the table and uh, yeah I'm liking the vibe already the music is very reminiscent of uh, other Latin American countries that I've endured in the past sounds a bit similar to some of the uh, rum pa pum pum music you get in Guatemala which I love flying around in those chicken buses gets the uh, gets the heart pumping and the vibe flowing yeah, this is a pretty cool town already Oh, I see. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. Yeah. I see. No, say. Say Mick Jagger. 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 Bill Hill. No, Bill Yeah, William Tell. They've been giving me some. Uh, what is the liquid of uh, the bomb? Se llama. Chuchu. Chuchu. This is like a tobacco, but it tastes. Chuchu No, no, el liquid of the other in the Kenya. No, pero primero, el Yegamaita. It's called a Yegamaita. Yegamaita, la Fuerte. Yeah, something else, oh, okay. it's like a tobacco thing, you put it in your tongue, you don't chew it, you put it in your tongue, and uh, your face comes alive. Yeah, really alive, we need five minutes, probably hanging around with the locals, it's going off. Well that was a funny little moment, just a small brood of mini vultures by the street there. I'm sure I'm going to see a lot more wildlife than just a little clan of vultures on the side of the street on my way to a Chafo Hotel in Leticia. Just had a kind of funny couple of hours. Thought I'd just get to know the zone a little bit by sitting down and getting a cold one in. The cold one turned into a few with my new friend Guillermo, who uh, was very entertaining. What a guy. He gave me this tobacco thing that I licked, put in my tongue, give me a sort of vibing kind of mouth. Well, I hope to see that character around because he was quite the character. I don't know if the sun's on that on the other side, but that is getting boiling. Anyway, this is my little cuarto. It's pretty basic, it's very cheap, but it's away from all the sort of hustle and bustle of this little Amazon in town on the very edge of the jungle. I'm suffering from the heat, as you can see, I'm sweating. Sweaty Betty. The place I'm staying, Hotel Chafo. It's at the end of the street here. It's the last house before the jungle begins at the uh, edges of Leticia. And uh, they've been informed we have a couple of little restaurants in the area. I don't know if you can hear that very well. 
you should do in the little pocket too, but that's the sound of the jungle. The stars are out. The tranquility is paramount. After two weeks of debauchery in Medellin, let's go and find some local typical food. I had a look online. And it's a very good burger place, obviously. Uh, <laughs> not really that typical, I suppose. But great reviews nonetheless. I didn't expect my first experience close up with the Amazon River to be a little bit like this, but this is it. We are here. It's a bit dirty and there's, uh, there's some action going on the river behind me and these little kind of planchas. I think that's what they're called, these little boats. I don't know if you can see. But we are on the Amazon River. Buzzing little place, Amazonas, Tierras. This is the fish soup, so I'm assuming it's got piranha, piraruku, or however you say it. It's blooming tasty. It's my basic room. It comes with a free factory. The factory is one door down, 7 30 in the morning. So we are out. Yeah, we're building a roof. This is what I'm here for. That. On to the next spot. Made it to this much nicer spot with Monica. My room is just behind me here. It's this nice little courtyard. We have some Wi Fi, which is incredible here in Leticia. There's not a lot of that going around. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm just trying to see if a ayahuasca ceremony trip to Iquitos is on the cards is something I've been thinking about for many years who knows quien sabe in the meantime I think I'll just nestle into Leticia for a day or two do some video work try and get the sonorama thing done and uh, figure out what to do next <laughs>
if you can see any of the writing on these walls. But that, that ain't Spanish. That's called, that's called drunk Spanish. Otherwise known as Brazilian. Otherwise known as Portuguese. We're in a different country altogether. No border town. Sorry, border crossing. There's no actual border frontier crossing. But there's definitely a line on the map. And if you go further into the city, not into the city, into the country, uh, yeah, then you'll uh, need to have a stamp on your passport. But going just a little toes, toes dip in and you're all right. Yeah, God willing, I'll find out some information about this rapid boat trip down to Puerto Nariño. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be good. Person here now, there's a bit of an unhappy crowd all waiting to get in. A bit like I'm in Alice in Wonderland or in a blooming Wendy house. Look at the size of these chairs. No, it's me, Tomano. Not my size. We're here, we're waiting for this place to open. Hola. Rolling around this crazy little town on the Tapatinga, uh, wild goose chasing these tickets, and I was waiting for about half an hour outside that place, and it wasn't the right place. We just walked in down through Tapatinga to the port part of it to get to Santa Rosa and ask them them questions. Those same preguntas. This kind gentleman's just pulled up his boat, he's gonna let me jump on. Yeah, yeah. That was easy. Okay. I've got to say, water colour. It looks a lot like the Thames. I'm not exactly sure where this gentleman is taking me, but I'm sure it's to introduce me to some tour or adventure that I might or might not be interested in. I don't know what pajaros they are. There's a nice fish down there. This dusty little town, this little island. Miguel has just commandeered me, basically kidnapped me, taking me to Santa Rosa. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say to him really. He wants to take me on a guided tour. I will see. But in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy a drink with him. And uh, get him to take me back to Leticia. He took us on the little noisy boat. And uh, to this nice little spot here. Uh, his guacamaya is hanging out. Be a place for a good party. They've got a nice bunch of PV speakers, They're about 50 years old, but I don't know. You get a few hundred people on this decking. Here we 
we go again. is having a tough time getting his comb through my hair. <laughs> we are going for the big cut here in Colombia. And if it doesn't turn out too well, we'll take it all off. Looking for a motor taxi to get me to Tapatinga on the Brazil side so we can uh, watch the sun go down while drinking a caprinha or a mojito or anything like that, something exotic. Señor Sapa es un lugar en Tapatinga, un lugar para mirar el sol desaparecer con un caprinha o mojito. Sí. ¿Conoces un lugar, sí, un sí, bar, claro, un restaurante? Un barcito allá al lado, de mismo de Malecón del Sol, de Brasil, ahí, ahí se ve todo el lado. Perfecto, sí, gracias. Ok, vamos. Sí. ¿Estás bien con uh, filmar un poco? Claro. Gracias. Ok, estamos en un moto taxi para Tepetinga. To watch the sun go down. Most of it's going to be one-handed. Some on the bike. Estamos en Leticia en este momento, pero en el momento estoy en Brasil. Frontera, estamos sí. cruzando la frontera ya. ¿Es la frontera aquí? Sí, esta es la frontera. Okay. Drinking Antarctica by the River Amazon in Brazil, Tapatinga. I feel a little bit safe. Hola. Here by, there's a guard just over there. He's got a big stick. It's a bit raucous here in Brazil. Tapatinga seems a bit run down. Uh, compared to Leticia, it's not quite as pretty. But we're right in front of the Amazon River. You can see the whole breadth of it. There's Santa Rosa over there. And on the other side of that island that you can see in the distance is a bigger part of the Amazon. It splits around Santa Rosa. That's where uh, Miguel took me yesterday. But look, check it out, man. We're drinking Antarctica.
biggest river in the world. Say that it's hot is a bit of an understatement. It is blazing compared to Leticia. I've got no sunblock. What I've got is my bug spray. It's not going to get me very far until tonight. I think we've got a munched a little bit on the way here actually. I think this is to scale. I'm not joking. But this seems like a cute little community down here at Puerto Nariño just have to pay a little bit of tax to get onto this part of the Amazon River still on the Colombian side but it's uh, look at this place reminds me a little bit of Livingston in Guatemala as luck would have it Carlos was there waiting for me in the dock to go to Airway. I don't know how I knew I was going to be there at that time. There's three folks a day. But he had uh, to pick up some gas. Uh, he's got his gas. I'm on his little boat, a little long tail boat. And we're heading up the river.